hello again. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make a birch bark infused oil. It's excellent to massage into sore joints and muscles. Let's get started. I'm going to be showing you how to make infused oil two different ways. The first is the slow method and the second is the heat method. By the end of this video, hopefully you'll know which method that you'd prefer to use. I do both depending on my needs. Here's what you'll need. 3 quarters to 1 cup of fresh birch bark shavings, twigs and or catkins, or 1 quarter cup dried birch bark. 1 cup oil of choice, you could use olive, almond, sesame, avocado, whatever you like. A small to medium saucepan for the heat method. A stirring implement. A glass jar with a cap for the slow method. Water for the heat method. A dark glass jar for storage. A cheesecloth or other fine weave straining tool like a fine mesh strainer a small funnel, and labels. If you're using freshly harvested branches and twigs, peel off the outer layers of the bark. So you're gonna peel the outer brown layer and the inner green layer until you reveal the white hardwood. Here's a closer look so you can see what it'll look like once you peel away the bark. Keep peeling, it take, can take a bit of time. And when you're finished, fill a jar all the way with shavings. If you're using dried bark, just uh, fill this about a quarter of the way. Next, top the whole thing off with the oil that you chose. Cap the jar and then label. List the ingredients, the date that you infused it, and maybe where you got the herbs from. Let the oil infuse for about four weeks before straining. Some herbalists like to put their jar in a sunny window. This helps to heat infuse it very gently every day. And speaking of heat infused, that's what I'm going to show you next. For the heat infused method, we're going to make a double boiler. For this, I used a small saucepan and a glass measuring cup. Fill the saucepan with just enough water so that the measuring cup isn't floating. You also don't want to risk getting water inside of the cup. Let the water just gently steam. So this is going to be on a very low heat. Gently warm the oil somewhere between 24 and 48 hours. What I do is when I'm awake, I turn it on in the morning. I let it cook all day. Make sure you refill the water because it will evaporate. And then I turn it off when I go to sleep or if I leave the house. I'll continue to do this sometimes for days. A lower maintenance option would be to use a crock pot or slow cooker. That way you could just set it on a really low setting and let it do its job for a few days. In that case, you could use a canning jar instead of a measuring cup like we did in the first method. When your oil's ready, strain it through a cheesecloth or fine mesh strainer. You can squeeze out the herbs to get all the oil out. Usually I don't do this for more herbaceous plants because it introduces moisture into the oil and that can cause spoilage. Bottle the finished oil in a dark glass jar. You could also make the oil into a salve and I'll be showing you how to do that next week.
Make sure you label your creation. Enjoy the goodness.